is she going boys mike here welcome back to grampy's workshop boys i'm glad you dropped in today because today is a very special day in the life of uh, grampy's workshop on the 31st of july of 2018 i made and published my first youtube video can you imagine that five years ago so this is my fifth anniversary video uh <laughs> what can i say five years i never would have thought but anyways here i am making my fifth anniversary youtube video and I want to thank you all for watching and putting up with me along the way and subscribing and leaving comments. It's been great. I love it. Uh, it's been good fun doing YouTube. I can't, you know, I can't begin to say that uh, I have had a hobby in my life that's been any better than YouTube, that's for sure. However, I'm not just going to talk. I'm not going to bore you with just me talking. But I will be talking through this video. But I do have a little bit of a project. And I thought what I'd do is uh, I'll just putter along at this project as I talk a little bit about what I've been through in the last five years. So <laughs> let's go. Five years. Ha, let's go. So, you know, making YouTube videos over the last five years, I've made a lot of videos. Like I, I try to average two videos a week. Now, I didn't. Last year was kind of a bad year for me here. I didn't get two videos a week done. But anyway, I try to make two videos a week and I publish them on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And I post them at 5.30 p.m. Atlantic time, right? So if you're interested in watching and keeping up, <laughs> check at 5.30 on Tuesdays and Fridays, 5.30 Atlantic time, because that's what I post. Uh, just a little bit about my, my history. You know, way back when I first was thinking about doing YouTube, I I was start, I was watching a channel called Steve Rob Reviews. Now, if anybody has, there hasn't subscribed to Steve Rob Reviews already, slap yourself and then go on YouTube and check him out and subscribe. Because I'm telling you, Steve, well, he's comical as hell for one thing, but he has great ideas. He thinks outside the box. He thinks like if, he just thinks about stuff differently and looks at things differently. And I'm, I'm saying that as a positive towards him, right? Anyway, Steve did a lot of coaching of me and coaxing to get me to make a video. And I did, and here I am five years later, still making videos, still loving it. And I still watch Steve Rob. So thank you, Steve, wherever you are. I appreciate all your support and help getting this channel up and going. And another channel I want to give a shout out to is uh, Old Sneelox Workshop. Actually, it's called the real Old Sneelox Workshop now. Dave Neiswander, he lives in the States. Uh, Dave publishes videos every day. He's been doing it for years and years and years and years. For one reason or another, I don't know why, he's a great supporter of my channel. Uh, now, I've got a lot of great supporters of my channel, you know, like they, they always comment, they always watch and share my videos, things like that. But Dave just went that extra mile and for, I'm going to say, the last two or more years, at the end of every one of his videos, you know where the end credits roll up, he always has a little emblem post there to subscribe to Grampy's Workshop. He always has it in his in his description, in his video description, to subscribe to Grampy's Workshop. And I've got a lot of subscribers and a lot of views that came by way of Dave's channel. So there's another channel. If you're looking for a good uh, general maintenance, household chores, how to do, check out the real old Sneelox Workshop. Just recently, Dave had his channel hijacked. It used to be called uh, Sneelock, Old Sneelox Workshop. He had his channel hijacked and he had to create a new name to get it back. So it's now called The Real Old Sneelox Workshop. Go check him out too, if you wouldn't mind, please. But in the meantime, what I, I'm saying all this just to say that over the years, I've made some terrific friends on YouTube. I've never ever met them. But man, oh man, there's so many nice people out there. And uh, and I have a lot of friends now all over the world that I think if I were to walk up and knock on their door, they'd open their door and welcome me in and, and help me any way that I know. Uh, so that's great. And I hope if any of your viewers out there, if any of you viewers out there ever drop by Grampy's Workshop here, that you stop in, because <laughs> I'd love to see you. But anyhow, enough about that. I've got a little bit of a project here that I want to do. And while I'm doing it, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about some of the things that's been going on in my channel over the while. So what I have here is, uh, this is just an ordinary kitchen chair. But I just want to show you what happened to it over the years from <laughs> Grampy sitting in it. Uh, the glue has dried up and come loose. So these uh, spreaders here have come out of the legs. So what the project is today is I'm just going to spend a little bit of time clean these up 
put them back together, put a clamp on it, and hold it all tight. So, not much of a project, but the main purpose of this video is to celebrate my fifth anniversary on YouTube. Did I mention that? That this is my fifth anniversary? <laughs> okay, first off, you see if I can get all these spreaders to line up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's going to go back together just as slick as anything. Okay, you know, another positive thing about YouTube that I never mentioned uh, is the fact that <laughs> I'm getting a lot of chores done around the camp. <laughs> because I need to have content for videos, because I post two a week, uh, I'm getting lots of chores done, like fixing this chair. You know, this chair has been broke or breaking for quite a while now, and here I am out today fixing it. Uh, now, mind you, I, I could have fixed it a lot sooner than this, but <laughs> nevertheless, I'm still fixing it. So, you know, if you're wondering, hey, I, do I have time to do YouTube? Well, of course you do, because you do the chores anyways. Just turn the camera on while you're doing them. <laughs> so I'm just filling those holes with uh, the pages outside Carpenter's Glue. Uh, I love the pages glue. I've been using that since... Well, I don't know when, since a long time. And it works, so I keep on using it. All right, let's see if I can get these lined up again. The forever mallet here. Now what I have here is just an ordinary ratchet strap. I love ratchet straps, eh? I use them a lot for a lot of different things. But I must say, they're kind of gangly to set up. There we go, I think I got it. That didn't go too bad. Now another thing when you're fixing legs in the chair, you want to put them back on the table to make sure they sit good and straight. So it doesn't look too bad, I guess, hey. Okay, I think we're good there. We'll let that dry and then we'll be good. Uh, now I can just talk to you a little bit more about YouTube. This is my fifth anniversary, did I tell you that? Making YouTube for five years. Uh, and in that five years, uh, I've made several changes, several modifications to how I make YouTube videos. I started off with a little camera that uh, only took two minute clips. <laughs> then I bought myself another camera and I started posting videos and I found out very shortly into the videoing process that in order to post a good video you have to edit it. I like to make my videos, you know, uh, I don't like them to go much longer than 15 minutes. Now I post a lot of videos that are longer than 15 minutes and I apologize for that. And to me that's asking a lot for a person to give up 15 minutes of their life to watch one of my videos. But I'm glad you just do it. But anyways, so yeah, way back when I started, I started editing and I started saying, you know, I need a good software editor because I have to do a lot of cutting to get my videos down to less than 15 minutes. So I ended up getting a free software called OpenShot. Uh, if you do any reviews on video editing software, you'll find OpenShot is always ranked pretty good, pretty high. Not never the top, but you know, it's in the list. And I used that for, for, many, for, for four years, four and a half years. I used that for four and a half years. And then last spring, I was thinking, uh, you know, I need to upgrade because my camera broke. The camera I was using all the time broke, so I need to get a better camera. So I got a GoPro Hero 9, that's what I'm using right now. I love this camera, it's great. It's nice and small and compact. It has good audio and the video quality is just, you know, there's so many settings you can put on this camera that you certainly can't get anything but good video out of it. Uh, even right out of the box, it works great. But anyway, uh, because I was editing, with uh, 4K, I took some video in 4K with this. Uh, the open shot, I wasn't able to do with it what I wanted to be able to do. So anyway, I was looking around for another piece of software. So I found uh, a software called DaVinci Resolve. And uh, that's sort of like the Cadillac of video editing softwares. And you can get it free. Can you imagine that? There's two versions you can get. One is called DaVinci Resolve Studio and you have to pay for that. The other one, the one I got, <laughs> It's just called DaVinci Resolve. And I'm telling you, it is a powerful piece of software. 
In fact, it was so powerful that my old PC setup couldn't handle it. I was getting lots of glitches and it was hard to edit the video because you know you're watching the clip and you say I want to cut right here, but by the time you, you find the spot where you want to cut, it, it, it uh, paused, it hung up, and the next thing you know it's about two seconds ahead when it starts to play again, but I was just too hard to edit on. So I said I have to get a new computer. <laughs> So Nanny was just sitting in the corner. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, I went to see my brother Steve. My brother Steve is a computer guru, as far as I'm concerned. I told him what I wanted. I gave him a budget, and uh, he came back with a bunch of parts and pieces, and we built a computer from nothing to a working machine. But anyway, I ended up with a with a new computer, and then I started running DaVinci Resolve on that for editing my videos. So, you know, those were the updates I made, the major upgrades I made over the years. On uh, the 31st of July, 2018, I posted my first video on YouTube. Unbelievable that it's been that five years ago. I want to thank Steve Robb for encouraging me to make videos. And if you fellas are getting sick and tired of watching Grampy's Workshop, go blame Steve Robb, because he's the guy who got me into all this. <laughs> but thanks, Steve. I sure do appreciate it, buddy. You've been more than a friend and nothing but a great coach over those years. He still gives me advice. I fixed Nanny's chair. I thank you all for watching. I told you all it was my fifth anniversary in YouTube. And please, folks, be safe wherever you are. Continue to watch Grampy's Workshop. Tell all your friends to watch Grampy's Workshop. Tell all your enemies to watch Grampy's Workshop. And have a great week. We'll talk to you.